It's adventure time with Jake and Finn. Welcome everyone to the tutorial on how to install custom skins into Cube World. I'll be showing you guys how to install the beautiful Finn from Adventure Time into Cube World today. Uh, this skin was basically created by Ratchet74, which you'll see on the screen now. There's a link in the description to download both the um, installer for the custom skins and also the custom skins themselves. If you guys find any cool custom skins, let me know and I'll, I'll go and have a check for them. But yeah, this is the Finn custom skin which comes with the awesome Jake shield and the sword here from Adventure Time. Looks pretty awesome. All of the animations obviously work completely fine because it is using just the default animations and it's built upon the, one of the default models here. And you'll see like, see like his little thin arms and thin legs which look really funny especially when you're riding on stuff. Uh, yeah, so this allows us to basically add in any custom skins that you guys can think of. I will show you guys in future episodes how to actually edit custom skins but for now let's move on to the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is check out the links in the description. Um, go, go and head to them. The first page you'll see is this uh, release custom launcher custom game skins one. And the second tab you'll need is the download link for the fin skins that you'll be using today to basically practice this. If you check out the Cube World forums, be, I'm sure there's like loads more downloads for skins. For example, like this uh, alpaca here with the uh, shades which we'll be testing out today. So the first thing you need to download is the Cube World launcher. Then you need to go ahead and download the example skin and also the keyword launcher source code. Make sure that you have the uh, system data SQL and also the table dat file um, downloaded. And you should basically have them all presented in a folder like this, which is where I've saved all of my mods. Keep that separate at the moment from your cube world folder. Uh, yeah, so basically what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you guys how to install the launcher to start installing all of the mods. Here we go. Right then, once you've downloaded everything, remember you have it in one folder on the right here, which I've got on a separate hard drive. And then I have it over on the left side. I have my C slash program files x86 cube world folder open. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag across the cube world launcher into the left hand window here, which is the into the cube world folder. Drag across table um, as well. You just basically copy what I'm doing on the screen as well. Um, then you want to open up the cube world launcher source code and drag all of them files into your cube world folder. There we go. Make sure to close that off. Uh, right, the next thing that you want to do is you basically want to um, then go ahead and... Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, then, then you want to go ahead and launch uh, the CW launcher. It's very important that whenever you play Cube World with the custom skins, you launch it through this launcher. Otherwise, um, Cube World could update and it could wipe out all of your progress. So this is what the launcher looks like. Uh, we're not going to be using this at the moment. We're going to go ahead and go into the CW launcher folder, which is just being created when you first launch it. The skins folder here, this is where you save all of your skins that you want to be able to use. So we create a folder, which is the name of whatever skin we're going to be using. For example, Finn, or for example, Alpaca Sunglasses. For, um, basically like that. Here we go. Alpaca. There we go. You'll basically um, open these up in the uh, editor which will then allow you to um, add them into the game. Uh, yeah, so the next thing we'll do is add in our files into these folders. For example, the Finn files into the Finn folder, the Alpaca Sunglasses into the Alpaca Sunglasses folder. There we go. Oop. Right. That's basically all you need to do to add the skins in. What you need to do next is uh, go back to the uh, CW launcher. Then I just open up this other window to show you guys what it does. What this launcher basically, basically does is it allows you to reload the skin list which will refresh and check that folder for any of the other folders for skins you've got in it. You can also restore original but make sure to always make a backup of Cube World. I've got one here that I just copied that Cube World x86 Cube World folder onto a different hard drive so I've always got the original copy in case anything goes wrong. Click on reload skins here that'll bring up both of the skins you've added in and then just move them across. Um, if you have any skins that happen to replace the same thing for example the alpaca head gets replaced because you've got two alpaca skins whichever is higher in the list on the right hand side will be the one that gets used so just make sure to check out the skins folder when you're dragging everything across to make sure that nothing clashes with what you've already got um, because I did make the mistake when I was using a Zelda uh, sorry not a Zelda a Link skin I crossed that with um, Finn so it had kind of like Link's head but with uh, Finn's little stringy arms which was a bit weird uh, so yeah just make sure to do that you can always click restore or original though to change it back this is the update here, it does say it takes quite a long time and it took a, take around uh, 6 to like 10 minutes max to update because basically what it does is it adds in all of the files to make sure that it doesn't miss anything that you've basically updated. Um, if, if 
it'd be good if there was a quick way to do this but obviously this is the only way to do it currently and it's awesome to use so there once you've done that all you have to do is click on play this will basically launch the game and then um when you create a new character you'll be able to select or we should be able to select finn uh from the main menu so i'm just going to go ahead and delete one of my old characters here uh there we go create a new one right just spin it around there you'll see that it's bald finn i'm not sure why he's bald at the moment i think it's because obviously in some of the adventure time stuff he does take off his mask and he's got like long blondish hair uh yes yeah, so this is the one where he's wearing his like sort of hat thing um this is basically what finn looks like in the game you can swap out his shield make sure you put it in the left hand though because on the right hand it does kind of glitch through the side uh, i'm not i'm not sure why it does that but it, it doesn't really matter anyway just make sure you put it in the right hand uh there we go this is what Finn looks like in the game. I hope you guys have found this tutorial useful. If you have any problems, make sure to post them in the comments. I'll try and help you guys out a bit, but remember, if anything does go wrong, this is all I've basically done. Here's the alpaca with the sunglasses on looking like a cool guy. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys have found this useful. If you did, make sure to leave a rating. If you guys have any ideas for tutorials that you'd think I should cover, make sure to let me know. Um, hopefully this tutorial has been useful to you guys, and make sure to subscribe for more episodes. This is basically me getting killed as Finn to show you guys what the little kill animation looks like because you do dissolve into little blocks. So I wanted to basically see what it looked like. Uh, that's basically it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.